Hi everyone, welcome to the world of pharmacology. <coughs> Let us see what is pharmacology. So this pharmacology, the word pharmacology is derived from a Greek word pharmacon and the meaning of that Greek word is drug. So we can understand that pharmaco pharmacology is the study of drugs. So since it is a study of drugs, it deals with the interaction of the drug with the biological system. So in very simple sense, we can say that it is the study of the action of drugs within our body. Okay, so pharmacology is derived from a Greek word pharmacon and that means drug. So it's easier for us to understand that it is related to the study of drugs and it deals with the interaction of drugs with the biological system. This pharmaco pharmacology has two main divisions that is pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. This pharmacodynamics is a combination of two words, okay? That is pharmacon plus dynamis and dynamis. As we have said earlier, pharmacon means drug and this dynamics is derived from the term dynamis. That's also a Greek word for power, okay? Which means power. So this combination of two, drug power, so this com combination of two words gives us pharmacodynamics and that is drug power. So we understand that the drug has power and it does something to the body. So pharmacodynamics is the division of pharmacology that deals with the action of drug to the body okay so pharmaco in pharmacodynamics we deals with what the drug does to the body and next is pharmacokinetics so that pharmacokinetics is the combination of pharmacon plus kinesis kinesis means movement of the drug here we study what the body does to the drug or the movement of the drug within the body so for in pharmacokinetics, we study the ADMA of the drug, that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of drug. Once a drug enters the body, it is absorbed, then distributed, then it undergoes metabolism and finally it is excreted. So all these actions are studied in pharmacokinetics. So pharmacodynamics is the division of pharmacology where we study what the drug does to the body and pharmacokinetics is another division where we study what happened to the drug inside the body or what the body does to the drug that is it undergoes absorption distribution metabolism excretion so ADME of the drug is studied under the topic pharmacokinetics Now let us see what a drug is. <coughs> As we all know, drug is something that we take when, ha when we have disease in order to cure our illness. So a drug is a chemical substance that is present in a medicine and it is used for diagnosis, prevention, treatment or cure of a disease. So a drug is used for doing three things that is in order to diagnose to prevent as well as to treat a disease so it is not just the treatment or cure of a disease but it also has the functions like diagnosing a disease and also prevention of disease so a drug does three function that is diagnosis prevention and treatment or cure of a disease so it is a chemical substance that is present in a medicine and is used for the diagnosis, prevention, treatment or cure of a disease. So next let us see how a drug is named. So drugs nomenclature or drug sorry drug nomenclature. For a drug it has three categories of name. Chemical name, brand name, approved name. There is an easier method to remember this remember this just remember a b c 
that is approved name brand name and chemical name so brand name has another name that is proprietary name and approved name has two more names that is non proprietary name and official name <coughs> first is the chemical name so chemical in chemical name the substance or the drug is described chemically okay for example aspirin its chemical chemical it is described as acetyl salicylic acid so chemical name describes the drug or medicine chemically next is the brand name brand name is the name that is assigned by the manufacturer of the drug so it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer okay so same so the same same drug can have different brand name uh, when produced by different manufacturers so brand name is the name that is assigned by the manufacturer and third is the approved name so this approved name is the name that is accepted by a scientific body competent scientific body or authority so these are the three names three categories of name of a drug okay i hope you understood the basics of basic concept in pharmacology see you all in the next class bye